Hello, everyone. Watch as the knitting wheel turns and turns and turns and turns and turns. To everything, turn, turn, turn. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm done with that. I like that song. Station 7. And he finally dragged the Reign of My King back. Isn't that great? Mm hmm. Oof. What happened? We shall soon find out. Isn't it Juni on the screen up there? As I go to stable, in a few months we can begin the implantation procedure. Recent tremors in the facility have worried my colleagues. Security has assured us they are with that well within tolerance levels. We have enabled the zygote safeguards regardless. Ah, uh, it sounds like they're gonna go well. Oh boy. I think it already hasn't gone well. Heh. <laughs> kind of like a space pirate experiment. Ha! <laughs> More fall! <laughs> More like toasty. <laughs> More like crunchy! <laughs> well, toast is crunchy, so why not? Anyway, we have run. Room is zoom zoom, Jenny Jenny. Ooh, water. Let me guess, water's still bad. Water always bad. Death water. You, Except in one instance, in one environmental level, water has always proven to be extremely fatal. I'm telling you, she's a Belmont. We just don't know it. Anyway, we have wall climb. Those little animals seem to be eking out a decent living. It's a living. It's a living! Could be worse. It could be Daffy Duck with pies being thrown in their face for months on end. The tremors are worsening. Much of the staff is resigning in fear for their safety. The specimen has cleared the gap. It's still gestating, but we'll be ready for implantation in weeks. We've installed a solar generator which will power its life support systems even after a total facility evacuation, which I can only assume has occurred. And you died. The trick is to get right up in that thing's face when it fires and get underneath it. The trick with the really, hedgehogs. I figured the trick was just not die. <laughs> the trick with the hedgehogs here. Wait for them to go to the left and run. So here we are. We are in the eponymous, the eponymous station seven. Umbrella. I jump. And we crawl out of the... Oh, jeez. Oh, it, it scrolled itself off the screen. Despawn. Awesome. Self-despawning, no less. Yeah. <laughs> say, is it getting cold around here? Whew. Holy. Mm, I was expecting tectonic mayhem. This is like nuclear winter. Oh, and I suspect it was either Iceman or Mr. Freeze's work. Whee! Away we go. Hmm. We we uh, go right into that. Oh boy. Evacuation site. Tunnel access. Auto shock. Security system online. Yes, there is a zapper over there. If you go near it, zap. It's basically like touching anything on one of you, the guy, you're dead. Yes. Ooh, the hollow dew. This will come in very handy. Manus Dextre. That's Latin, but I don't know what that is. What the hell is with the statues in the... Hmm. Now, if there was a closer save point, I would have showed the zapper off, but there wasn't, so... Eh? Serves them. Huh. Did I hit that save point? Definitely did now. Whee! Skype says you have a lot of background noise. No kidding! <laughs> How many times have done that to me? You think I just give it up already? <laughs> oh, 
Ooh. Turtle? No. Porcupine. Station six? Oh, jeez, that thing again. The increasing tremors have terrified Station Six staff. We are abandoning the facility for our own safety. Our zygote is days away from implantation. We have been forced to leave the partially grown clone to die. We will grow another in a more secure facility. Ouch, that's kind of cruel. Yeah. Oh, good. That's a good thing about those little guys. They go immobile if you get near them, which can prevent them from killing you for collecting a power-up. That reminds me of another enemy from something else. <laughs> there we go. Arboretum, Auxiliary Drainage Access. And again, back to the dark system. We'll be back there in a little bit, but first... <laughs> a little something to investigate over here. Psycho development is unparalleled. Continuing at this place, the clone body will be fully grown in a matter of months. Implantation following shortly after. I hear that Station 7's project is a progressing similarly well. She looks just like me. Freaky. Definitely creepy, yes. I know he said freaky, but they both, they both work. <laughs> That's a different model, too. It had longer hair. Anyway, we could actually go up to the Arboretum, and we might, but... We also suddenly bust out some Shakarikan, but then again, we might not. Hmm. The thing is, I saw a place up there near where the Holodoop was that might be accessible. And going to the Arboretum will end the level. So, in the name of wasting time and giving us more time to do stuff... More content. All right. Indeed. We're going to head all the way back. No save points, mind you. That way we can quickly teleport back to Station 6 and end this level. Using deaths to save time. What is this, a tool set to speed run? <laughs> You could call it that. Except the tools are inside the game itself, so... Oh, no! No climb! No sell! <laughs> no show. So, to the Arboretum. ZAP! Well, use Zap Cannon. It's super effective. Vines. This place has been a frozen hellhole. How do you think... Yeah, wait a minute. How do you think growing in this? What? Before our eyes! Anytime they play before our eyes, something... Awesome is going to be happening. Caracas Robur. This tree species was last seen in the wild over 30,000 years ago. We have recreated it as our first text subject for the cloning procedure. Now, several years on, this specimen has become home to some of our later fauna clone experiments. Okay. Meodis glarolus. This ancient bank vault were our first mammalian products. The smaller female was born first, followed by a later date 
followed their validity by the Purple Mailed Keeper Company. Much to the staff's satisfaction, they successfully made it, borrowed, and bore a litter of three. Well, isn't that cute? Yeah. But well, what are those three gonna do? <laughs> Camellius Domagiris. These prehistoric ungulates once lived in the desert regions around the equator. Their bodies are specifically adapted to the warmer climes. However, the members of this breeding herd live perfectly happily in the temperate arboretum. Well, Aaron Malcolm said it best, life will find a way. Indeed. Oh boy, the uh, Theraposa Blondi, our first macro-scale active organism cloning project. It was genetically modified to be larger in size than would have naturally grown in the wild. This specimen proved to be extremely aggressive and must be confined apart from the rest of the arboretum. Well, yeah! Look what it does! You can't even outrun it! Not without a, a red cape. Ole! <laughs> now you can fool that son of a gun with the Paula dude. Erythacus rubecula. These small ancient birds make up most of the avian population in the arboretum. Initially, we created only a single breeding pair. The rest of the flock has been born over time in the natural way. There are now over 20 individuals. Oh. And the music is ending, so I'm going to go back down into the lab and make it happen again. Gilbert! I can never get enough of that. Out of the entire Knit Stories original soundtrack, Before Our Eyes is probably my favorite tune. And you fell. I liked it so much you just can't concentrate. Well, it doesn't help that you see that. You see that? It's That's not the, real. Yeah, that it's one last forming. section of the. Good lord, it's a zygote! The implantation must have been carried out automatically. Heavy! Get her into the module. This changes everything. She should be the one to live, not us. Cryo sleep module. The cryo module is sealed, and the two remaining scientists from Station Seven fire Juni up, up into the atmosphere, toward their waiting rescue vessel in orbit. What happened next? That's a different story. What waiting rescue? But wow, this this had a plot point that I missed. <laughs> Damn. Well, <laughs> Station 7. Thoughts? Well, I wasn't expecting the end, that's for sure. Mm, you never, I, I you was never... Expecting, I was suspecting at first, okay, maybe life is creeping back in. Not that that was the end of the life, the last one, and they were shooting her out of there so that she wouldn't be there when life finally gave up. Mm. Well... I got something else in store for our friend here, so uh, we'll see you in a little bit. I mean, yes, we will. If you're following the playlist, just let it run. If you just came across this video randomly, click the up next button once this video ends. You'll be glad you did. Mm-hmm.